Welcome back to Town TV. I'm Zach Heimbuck. And I'm Tyra Fernandez. The sports team fills you in with the latest updates on powerlifting. This week we take a deeper look into choir. And stay tuned for Sergio Gambo with box office reviews. That and more. You're watching Talent TV. After the tragic school shooting in Florida, people are calling for ways to make guns safer. The Florida shooting left 17 dead and citizens all over the U.S. say that this needs to be the last mass shooting in America. While not everyone supports repealing the Second Amendment, it is almost unanimous that getting weapons needs to become safer. 70% have voted for stronger gun laws around America, but as of right now that might not be enough to make a change. Even though it is an American right to own weapons, it is also a child's right to feel safe at school. In a Dallas apartment shooting, an 18-year-old woman was killed and her 16-year-old sister severely injured. According to CBS News, the two victims in were inside their apartment on Highland Hills Drive this past Saturday when they heard a disturbance outside and looked out of their window from the second floor. Police say Nequasia Jacobs and her younger sister were both shot from below as they looked outside to see what was happening. After both being taken to the hospital, 18-year-old Jacobs died from her injuries while her sister remained in serious condition. Talent TV is holding a fundraiser to raise money for competition expenses and AV equipment. We will be selling Butterbraid products of many different flavors, all either $13 or $14 each. These are fundraiser-only products, so be sure to get yours while you can. You can talk to any Talent TV member or come by room 114 to place an order. And now to the sports team with Sports Corner. Hi, this is Coach Johnson. I'm the head uh, track coach for Red Oak High School, and our 2018 edition of Hawk of the Week begins this week. And our first uh, recipient is a sophomore on the track team. He does a wonderful job, comes to work works hard every day, keeps his grades up, stays out of trouble, he's very coachable. And the Hawk of the Week winner for this week is Moses Escarino. I'm really honored to be chosen as Hawk of the Week for track. Um, I'm really thankful for Coach Johnson for choosing me and pushing me to my limits and helping me accomplish my goals in track and do my best. Your Red Oak powerlifting team is sending four lifters to the regional meet this weekend. D. Johnson, Aaron Watson, Preston Young, and Anthony Perales. All they need is to finish top two in their weight class and head to the state championship meet on March 25th. Um, it's been real tough. Every day after school, right after a football workout, we go and we put up heavy weights, high reps for about an hour. Um, watching my diet, um, make sure I stay away from the junk food, stay more of the healthy foods, vegetables, you know, eat your vegetables, kids. Um, and I've just been maintaining my body, working out, not doing anything crazy. I'd say it's made me more of a man, made me more mentally tough um, and more confident with myself. In the first meet, I really didn't do as well as I could. And going into this meet, I'm just more confident and ready to go. Um, it's given me the opportunity to work out more and gets me stronger. And it's also given me the opportunity to compete against other schools and represent Red Oak. The regional powerlifting meet is this Saturday night at Lindell High School. Be sure you support your Hawks as they give their all this Saturday night. Until next time, back to you guys. And now to Davion and Tracy with Social Circle. Welcome back to Social Circle. I'm Davion and this is Tracy and we are your hosts. This Winter Olympics has passed this week and Norway came out on the top while the U.S. came out in fourth. The United States won nine gold medals and eight silver medals and six bronze medals putting the United States at a total of 23 medals. Jamie Anderson won the gold medal in the women's snowboard slope style. Jessica Diggins and Kakai Randall won the gold medals in the women's cross country skiing. And Sean White won the men's snowboarding half pipe with a perfect score of 97.95 on his final run. Now to surgery with your latest box office movie review. Thanks guys, four new movies come out this week. 
No Malone starring George Lopez, Josh Peck, and Becky G. The Midnighters starring Perla Haney Harden, Dylan McTee, and Ward Horton. Alpha starring Cody Smith McPhee, Andrew Rona, and Danielle Sebastian Weidenhoff. And finally, Death Witch starring Bruce Willis, Dean Norris, and Kimberly Elise. Dr. Paul Kersey is a surgeon who often sees the consequences of city's violence in the emergency room. When home intruders brutally attack his wife and young daughter, Kersey becomes obsessed with delivering vigilante justice to the perpetrators. As the anonymous slayings grab the media's attention, the public begins to wonder if the deadly Avengers are Guardian Angel or the Green Reaper itself. That's it for this week's box office reviews. Until next time, back to you guys. Thanks, Sergio. That's, That's it, it for, for this week's Social, Social Circle. Circle. Bye. And now we get a deeper look behind the art of choir. Hi, my name is Damien Velasquez. Hi, I'm Trevor. I'm in Mighty Hawkman Choir. I've been singing ever since third grade. I haven't, I've been just singing my heart out because that's one thing I love to do. Yeah, it's kind of like an experience about me singing in front of the people. It's kind of like a, like emotion that like some people applause you. Uh, well, this is my first year in Red Oak, but I've been doing choir for about five years now. Yeah, I do see choir as a future opportunity for me to sing for different choirs. Like um, people like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and others like them. Uh, my sister inspired me because all throughout her middle school and high school years, she did choir, and ever since then, I wanted to sing like her. That's it for this week's news. Be sure to tune in next week for Talent TV.